Hello. Today I have a grocery haul that was in total $202.95 and it's worth dinner and lunches for us for a week. Um, we're a family of eight. Um, I get my stepkids who are 13 and 11. We get them every uh, every other week for a couple of, well every week for a couple of days each week. So um, tonight they are going to be here and and uh, we're going to have a meatloaf for dinner which is in this hall so let me turn you around and get it started. I gave him a cookie now he's not so fussy. Okay so to start off with um, we got oh they replaced it with strawberry. I ordered two cherries. Cherry and blueberry are our favorites um, but they replaced the strawberry so I got four of these. I drink no, I eat these in the morning with my coffee, and the boys eat them throughout the day for a snack. Um, I got two of the thick and chunky manwiches because these are the best. Um, we're going to have these tomorrow night with um, some french fries that I have in the freezer. Um, I got some sandwich bread and butter pickles. Uh, my husband loves bread and butter pickles, and I'm going to make him sandwiches to take to work. Um, I also got... Dill pickles. Um, we eat dill pickles with our sandwich, and I also got uh, bread and butter chip pickles, um, which are for me and my husband when we eat like sandwiches on just a loaf of white bread. But I got him these because I got him some hoagie rolls. Um, I got this Smucker's natural. Uh, jelly. I'm really trying to not get sugary jelly. I got some sugar free last week and it was, I don't want to say disgusting. We tolerated it, but it just was not very good. Um, so I'm choosing this route, which is no high fructose corn syrup, so a little bit better. Um, I got this liquid smoke um, because I use this in my homemade barbecue sauce and I'm making um, barbecue sauce to go over um, the pork shoulder that I have thawing right now, I'm going to cook it up in the crock pot and use barbecue sauce and cover it. So, uh, we'll have those probably Saturday. Um, I got Colby Jack cheese, which will probably go on my husband's hoagies. Um, I got these because I'm going to make grilled cheese. And then we also just have these on the manwiches. Um, these are for the manwich. These are the hoagie rolls for my husband that I got. They're like six inches. Uh, there's six of them and they were only three forty-eight, dollars so it was a pretty good deal. Um, I got these dinner rolls, which are delicious. We're gonna have those tonight with our meatloaf. This is for the meatloaf. Um, my stepdaughter wanted bologna, so I got her some bologna. Um, she likes it with no crust and mustard, and that's it. Um, I got these for my husband to take to work. I got some potato salad. Some loaded potato salad. That just sounded really good to me. Uh, we're being lazy today, and I got two of the Bob Evans mashed potatoes for our meatloaf. <clears throat> I think they're pretty comparable to homemade potatoes, and they save a lot more time. Um, I got two of these ground beefs. They're cheaper than fresh because they're in the frozen section. Um, I'm just going to stick them in the freezer anyway, and these will be for... Um, next week's uh, taco night on Tuesday. And I got some more smoked sausage just because I fry it up with breakfast sometimes or I'll throw it in a pan with um, canned potatoes and green beans and just have a quick lunch for the kids. Um, I have one red pepper, which this diced up with onions will go into the meatloaf. Um, I have some tomatoes for the sandwiches. I got eight corn on the cob. This is for tonight for dinner. I have this breast tenderloins um because i'm going to be making chicken and rice and cheesy vegetables um sometime i think sunday i have it planned for on sunday um and then i got some convenience items for me i wanted to try the lobster bisque i love lobster bisque i really enjoy lobster and like crab it's like one of my favorite things ever um sorry my kids are yelling um i also got some loaded potato soup um, these will be for my lunches. I'll probably eat half for lunch and half for like midway between lunch and dinner. 
Um, I also got some salads for me um, just to have on hand quick because, you know, uh, even though I'm only, I only have two kids at home now during the day um, because my older two are in school, my hands are still pretty tied with this breastfeeding 10 month old and my three year old who suddenly thinks he's still a baby. So I'm having to hold children most of the day. Um, so it's pretty exhausting. So yeah, I got some convenience stuff. Okay, sorry, the baby was getting squirmy. He finished his cookie. So I got BLT, I got two BLTs. I did not get B two BLTs. Uh, they substituted one of these. Um, the avocado ranch salad, I thought that looked really good. And then the Caesar with bacon, of course that makes everything better. Santa Fe style and um, Cobb salad, I got those um, for lunches for me. Um, and I got three of the same for my kids. Two older ones go to school, my three-year-old wants to go to school too, so he actually has a uh, lunchbox that I just put his food in so he can eat it at lunchtime here at home. Um, I got this scarf. It was only $2. It's technically for um, women or men or whoever wants to wear it, but I actually got it so I could make a scarf for our new puppy, Archie, that we have. Um, he is a Westie, and he's black and white, and he's super sweet. I guess he's not a puppy. He's one and a half, but he's just the sweetest. So I thought this would look very sophisticated on my little Archie. Um, Dr. Archibald, actually. Uh, we call him Archie. If you know Dr. Archibald, let me know. Um, I also got these cookie dunks for the boys. I thought they would enjoy that. I'll probably let them have those after dinner tonight. Um, because they'll see them and they won't it, they won't last till tomorrow. Um, and I also got some Twist and Shouts. They're not as good as Oreos, but the kids don't really tell the difference. Um, and then I got Coke Zero, Mountain Dew Baja Blast, Zero Sugar, which I think is disgusting, but my husband likes it, so I got that for him to pack in his lunches, and then a Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, and then Sugar-Free Red Bull for my husband to take to work. So um, this whole thing totals about $202. I think that's pretty good, honestly. Um, so, yeah, this will last us about a week, $200 for about a week um, for dinners. And this is not just what we have. Of course, I have a full pantry and a freezer, refrigerator, and then I have some stuff down in the garage that I have uh, for storage. So, um, but this is um, pretty good, I think, for 202 I mean, it's still pretty sad considering what groceries used to be, but I think this is, we did pretty good, especially since I got a lot of convenience things. I really was trying not to, but I'm just so tired this week. I'm baby's regressing and um, my three-year-old had hand, foot, mouth um, for about a week and he wasn't eating or getting fluids and it was just kind of a scary time because he was very dehydrated. Um, so anyway, I haven't been getting much sleep between the boys' needs, so um, that's everything. I hope our dinner goes well tonight. Mashed potatoes, meatloaf, corn on the cob, and rolls. Sounds pretty good. Do you want to say hi? Can I say hi? Say hi. Say hi. Anyway, that's it. Bye bye. You say bye bye. Not yet. He knows hi though. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you later.